We are heading out of Portside RV Show. One wheel absolutely changes the game. <laughs> Look at our parking spot. Yeah, like I had so much fun at the show and the awning was so cool and the people were really cool and well, I think we'll call this home. I did it, I rode it. The gnarliest off-road line on my one wheel so far. Hey babe. Hey, what's up? Not much, what are you up to? Bundling up. And, I actually uh, just took all the information from any and all the photos that you took <laughs> within the last like 36 hours and I just culminated it all together and then I geofence tagged it, tracked you down to out here in the middle of the desert. Wait, I did it good earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I camped here with Wally when I was towing the A-liner two years ago, three years ago, three years, oh my gosh, time flies. Wally and I camped right here. He was with his Jayco and his Super Duty at this exact spot on the Colorado River. I love coming here and stopping before and after hammers because it's on the way and it's also out of the way. The road is right there. You could get anything in here. You could get a two wheel drive in here. So just want to keep it real, you know? I love my 40s, I love how capable my Jeep is, but I want you guys to know, you can get out here in anything. You don't need a crazy custom build. You can do it in anything, you know? But this truck, though. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so excited to be here. We're eating some Subway. You guys have been eating tons more veggies these days. Look how many veggies are in my Subway. It's like half veggies, half meat. It's a new thing I'm trying. Popping that top up. It's such nice weather. Ready to rock. Set up our little uh, projector screen, watch a movie. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. We watched some shows last night on the big screen. We just made ourselves a smoothie. And let's hop around on the one wheel, show you guys camp. <laughs> We've got a road right there. You can see the dude rolling, but he's the only one I can see on the road right now. It's very not well-traveled, but check out the spot. We got the glad skis up on the hill <clears throat> and the Colorado River right down there, which is pretty neat. You can walk out on this ridge here and I really wanted to ride it on the one wheel, but looks a little sketchy so all right so the run into this you go super fast up to it and then you better slow down because whoo gotta stay on the line whoa, whoa. I did it, I rode it. The gnarliest off-road line on my one wheel so far. Oh, felt amazing. That line was so sick. Wonder what Amanda's up to in Pennsylvania, 2200 miles east. Let's give her a call. Hey babe. Hey, what's up? Not much, what are you up to? Bundling up. <laughs> it looks cold out there. Well, we are getting ready to go on a walk. Abram's tired of being cooped up inside all day. I'm not, because it's warm. We've got our toasty fire. And AB just wants to go for a walk and play in the snow. Okay, AB baby, let's go. Oh, gross. It's actually a really pretty day. Just very cold. 31 degrees out, real feel is 
22. Not as bad as the last week though. It's starting to warm up. None of the camp roads are really plowed, but they're fun to drive around, especially going around the turns. It's a nice sunny day. Hopefully it'll warm up this week so our pipes can thaw out and we have water because we haven't had water for almost a week. Oh, the huskies are out. Well, I'm glad you have the trailer to stay warm in. You guys look cozy. Miss you and excited to see you soon at King of the Hammers. We're chilling today. But we're gonna watch some King of the Motos. To keep the this happening right now in Johnson back. Valley, not far it, it makes a lot from of me. Sense. I should be there. So no, no, the but, check uh, check I gotta edit two. some video today. Yeah, so coming in to check. All right, now we're gonna go do the best thing ever, which is one wheel, an RC at the same time. <laughs> this is the King of the Hammers Bomber Edition. Randy Slauson. Limited edition, they don't sell these anymore. Whoa, gotta look out for it though. Wow, really hard to plan lines for both of them for sure. <laughs> Where's the car going? Whoa! <laughs> I'm driving one handed too, so this is fun. I might actually just pick it up to be honest with you because it's gonna be a lot easier to ride when I'm not looking at that thing all the time over here I rode over here earlier it was so sweet I made the coolest line of Jump into this. Whoa. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be soft. That's awesome. Alright, I like sketchy downhills like this too. Woo -hee -hee. <laughs> Fun stuff. Alright, so we're on our way back to the truck. Look at this, it's in a wheel. <laughs> Mobbing up to my camp. Hey there, bud! She's, she's uh, evolved since you saw her last. Nice. Yeah. I gotta do a couple more. Oh, things. yeah. The whole little. Uh... Yeah, I got this guy. And then Heck this yeah. pulls out. Nice. And then the whole thing can fucking pull Dude, out. Dude, look at that. Wow. Games. Lots of stuff in there. Yeah, dude. I love it. Total game changer. Let's pick up another traveler. Dude, Will yeah. saw the rig. We were out one wheeling. Yeah. And, I actually uh, just took all the information from any and all the photos that you took <laughs> within the last like 36 <laughs> hours and I just culminated it all together and then I geofence tagged it and uh, tracked you down to out here in the middle of the desert. No big deal. No biggie. No big deal. It doesn't help. He picks like a spot that I literally was looking over here going, huh, where would it be like the camp out there and have that? That'd be a good view, but I'm kind of far from King of the Hammers. Yeah. But while I was looking, I saw this, I mean, you know, I can't miss it. So I saw this guy hanging out <laughs> right up on top of the ridge. It wasn't like you were hiding. No, I wasn't trying. This is where the best view is. For sure. <laughs> yeah. 
so yeah why not uh kick it here yeah dude sweet it's good to have you for a night and then yeah you're mobbing in tomorrow huh mobbing in tomorrow i want to go in tomorrow but i gotta edit i gotta make this stuff happen pull out your harmonica and make it go whomp, whomp, oh whomp. yeah dang it where'd i put it that's no good. That's the... I got. I... <laughs> He's going for it. Womp, womp, womp. I can't do that on this though. I'm, I'll just give you a. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait. Wait, I did it good earlier. <laughs> very good, very good. Very good. <laughs> Uh, whatever. At least the view's good. <laughs> it was not my best harmonica performance, but I'm also never been a good harmonica player. So not once. Not once in my life. So that's okay. And it's on a free harmonica that we don't have any clue if it's got any. I don't know whose mouth has been on this. <laughs> Will just gave this to me, and I started playing it. Thank you, by the way. Yeah. This is my glove box harmonica. <laughs> it wasn't a dirty old case. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> King of the Hammers pregame. 2024, baby. <laughs> Colorado River. Yep. Featuring. The Featuring. Colorado River. It's there. It's right there. Oh, yeah. You got the lights going. Ooh, what do you got? You see, you got pork chops? Uh, making a little. Carolina barbecue pork chops, which is Ooh. mustard base. We're gonna try this guy out here. Palmetto Sauce Company, Congaree Gold. So Congaree Gold, the Congaree River runs through South Carolina. Well, it probably runs through other places too, but I'd imagine they're inside. Yeah, Barnwell County, South Carolina. Nice. Palmetto Sauce Company, barbecue. It's gotta be good. Fucking terrible chopping techniques. <laughs> we'll edit it to be good. Yeah, that's smelling good already. Should we go camping? We don't do much else. <laughs> Delicious, dude. Oh, morning, everyone. We're gonna chop up this onion and peppers. Make some carnitas tacos. Making some fresh tortillas for breakfast tacos. Oh yeah, well, I think we did it again today. We leaned on you for dinner, made us a good dinner. Yeah, brother. And uh, I came through with some good stuff on the breakfast. You made some good eggs. This one's got goat cheese. Gonna go down even quicker than the last. Ow. Well, Will's heading out. We got our awning out because it started raining a bunch. Our nice ostrich wing 270. Peace it, dude. Will's got some cool new upgrades to the Forerunner. So, looking forward to catching up with him at King of the Hammers. He always brings good vibes. All right, we are getting this video uploaded that I've just spent hours and hours editing, getting it right. <laughs> like I always do. <laughs> a lot goes into editing these videos and uh, I do it myself because I want to have that creative control show you guys what I like. Anyways, it's raining. It's been raining all day, which isn't fun, but it's also kind of like, well, not much to do out here. So might as well be editing <laughs> and I need to edit. Look at this ostrich wing on it really nice right now I love it I always love it but it's nice to have in the rain but anyways when I go to King of the Hammers I just want to film a bunch and just soak up every minute Amanda's gonna be here for like six days almost a week I don't want to edit at all while she's here I haven't seen her in almost a month um, so but yeah it was good to check in with her yesterday and show you guys that how she's doing
So we got some leftover carnitas and veggies from lunch today. We're gonna make a quesadilla out of them. Mmm. <laughs> look at that. Like a pizza pie. Oh wow, that crunch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Carnitas. Oh wow. Oh, so bomb. Mmm. Wow, I can literally see the clouds just moving like so fast right there. Mm, delish. Morning everyone, check it out outside. I looked out the window and I was a little confused. Wow. You just can't see anything because of this fog. Gnarly, I can barely see the sun through it. That is crazy looking. <laughs> this is so weird. I can't even see the road. It's right there. Look at that thing! Freaking mobbing! Jets that fly past here. It's so cool! <laughs> so cool. Colorado River right there. One wheel lines all around. Freaking love this spot. Third or fourth year I've been here. It's great. So fun having spots like this, living on the road, where you can come and just build on your memories on this spot that you called home. Um, I've cumulative got maybe a week and a half that I've spent here. Not much, but so many memories throughout the year. It's been fun. Well, thank you guys for watching this King of the Hammers pre-game video. Hammers this year was absolutely insane. And I'm so excited to be editing and bringing you guys those videos next. But tomorrow's video, I'm going live and we're gonna do this Opus Mega 2 2000 watt power station giveaway that I've been talking about. So again, the only way to enter is to be a patron. So you join at patreon.com slash down to mob. You get all sorts of benefits like exclusive access to chat with me, content, private campouts, as well as exclusive merchandise that's automatically sent to you depending on the tier you choose. Every $5 you spend on those tiers gets you one entry in this giveaway. This is a $1,300 power station. So I've got 41 patrons right now at different tiers. That gives you very good odds. There's not a lot of people that are gonna be entering this giveaway. Stoked about that. We'll see you tomorrow live on YouTube to announce the winner. The only question is, are you down to mob? Be a patron and win stuff. <laughs>